I'm just an old tree standing here on Kikapoo Island. Summer's come and going pretty fast this year, and all the fun that the campers had is now ended. I'm sort of sad because I can't watch them playing all those games, corral, kickball, and enjoying sports camps. And now the tables have all been put away and it looks like my old friend, Mr. Totem, has already gone to sleep for the winter. He's probably dreaming about those campers playing that game they called Spiders and Flies. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! One, two, three! We are the Spiders! We are the Spiders! would run and run, chasing each other all over the place. And the camp's counselors, I think they were having just as much fun while keeping all the children safe. All the counselors are carefully selected and screened to ensure that the Farmington Hills YMCA day camp has the best possible role models. And you know what's really neat is that the counselors participate in a week-long intensive leadership training course that emphasizes care and well-being of the campers, quality programming, and building relationships with the children. The swimming pool sees lots of action during summer camp and safety is ensured by giving each camper a swimming test. Regardless of where the camper wants to swim, he or she has to show their swimming skills and then they get color code tags so the lifeguards and counselors know where the children are supposed to be at all times. And then the fun really begins. On rainy days, the campers have just as much fun playing in the gymnasium as they do outside because the gym is so big they can run and laugh and they even play a game called flag tag. never see anything like it. They never stop running. <laughs> Sometimes campers show up and they may bring with them some extra baggage. They're not sure whether they want to participate in all the fun activities or just sit around away from everybody. They might even crawl up behind some chairs and tables. But one thing that's neat about the camp counselors and staff, they know how to break down those barriers and can help every child who comes to Y Camp get rid of the baggage and get busy having fun. Sometimes sad faces turn into happy smiles, and instead of sitting crouched behind a table, a camper becomes a camp song leader, and who knows, for the rest of the day, has a really fun time. YMCA Camp grows strong kids. 
And while this group of campers continues activities in the gym, another group is working on crafts, and they create some pretty neat things. For the older campers, you usually find them hopping on buses and traveling to metro parks, major league baseball games, and canoe trips. In short, all of the kids that attend YMCA day camps have a blast. We're building strong kids. You just gotta love them. It's all about the kids. As the youth and family director, I have oversee our summer day camp program. I have worked in our summer day camp program for over seven years as a unit leader, camp director, and now as a program director. In those seven years, I have witnessed firsthand families who really cannot afford to send their kids to summer day camp. And I've also witnessed kids who come to camp with adult issues and circumstances that they really should not be experiencing. Here at the Farmington YMCA, kids can just be a kid. They learn to conquer their fear of water. They learn how to swim. And my personal favorite, they make new friends. I couldn't imagine running a summer day camp program without the kids that we have here. At the Y, we promote youth development, social responsibility, and healthy living. And at the Farmington Y, we help build kids and families the strong foundation for a better life. Will you help build with us? Thank you for your contributions to the Strong Kids Campaign, where we build strong kids, strong families, and strong communities. Thank you again. <laughs>